Thank you everyone for being here. Um, I hereby bring to order the Commission Survey Committee active as of uh, 602. Thank you. Okay, we're going to go through the agenda. We'll talk, uh, first one is decorum. Anyone wishing to speak is asked to raise his or her hand and when it recognized by the chair to address comments to the chair. Speakers are to keep their comments under two minutes. Public testimony taken at the beginning of each agenda item. Please silence all electronic devices. Should do that. Um, there's a note. The commission may take action on any agenda, any agenda item as required by the state sunshine law, HRS chapter 92. Specific issues not noted on the agenda cannot be voted on as properly added to the agenda. Uh, we have five. We have three commissioners, so I guess we have quorum, right? Because yeah. <laughs> I'm still confused. On okay. I'm ex officio, so yeah. you don't count me. Based on, yeah, because we're voting, Chair Oshiro, the chair of the commission, is a part of all committees as an ex officio member, and therefore it shouldn't be elected at the vote. It's fine. Yeah. So he doesn't fit the quorum? Yeah, that's our interpretation. Okay, so it's information made. Yes. How we want to do this with Commissioner Larry here, because I thought he was on the, do you want to move for a vote or something? I want him to be on, I thought he was on the list to be the, on the survey committee from the first meeting he was at. Well, tonight, because we definitely don't have a, a quorum of the committee, we should probably save it to either the next commission meeting or the committee meeting. Um, either way, you're welcome to be here and you're welcome to provide your input. Okay. Fine. Okay, okay, great. I don't think so. You don't have quorum tonight. You don't have quorum. Is that right? No, we do not have quorum. Okay. So this would be an information meeting then. Yep. We can proceed as we do with the board minutes. Okay, fine. Uh, approval of the committee uh, minutes from June 10. Oh, sorry. Public concerns. Public concerns. Oh, I'm so sorry. Is that in here for somewhere? All right. Are there any public concerns? Any public concerns from anyone online? In the house? Seeing none, we'll proceed. Okay, item three approval of the committee minutes. We'll preview the committee minutes, call to order. It's uh, 601. Can't approve that. Yeah, we don't have. Well, that's an interesting one, too. The way that we interpret the approval of the minutes is like you wouldn't actually need a motion. Um, you basically see any proposed corrections if there right. are any from the public or from the attendees in total. If there are none, then they're just approved as written. That's right. And they can always be amended in the future. There's no deadline. Does anyone have any comments or concerns off the current written summary? The survey committee of uh, June 10. Any changes, additions, revisions? Hearing none, the uh, survey committee meeting summary for video record of June 10 is accepted. Okay, let's go ahead and proceed. Uh, share screen. Thank you. Tom. Let's do this right. Yeah. Can everything, everyone see the screen online? Yeah, I'm going to proceed. This is my cover memo for today. The survey committee. Uh, this is addressed to survey committee members. Uh, this is the committee updates. First of all, thank you for services to the commission survey committee. Since the survey committee meeting of August 12, a call for questions from the neighborhood board members, we received over 110 questions and thoughtful statements from the board members. These pertain to the NCO commission, board operations, board officers, neighborhood plan, city and county Honolulu, ethics, the Sunshine Law and Corporate Council and the rights and responsibilities of all of the above 
involved in supporting the neighborhood board system. Uh, the 110 questions are in addition to the already developed questions and statements that the committee has shared prior to the call for questions. Due to the uh, now the, um, the due to the qu quantity complexity of the attached questions, I recommend the following, and that's for a pig a permitted interaction group. Okay, I'm going to pause at that point. And let's just scroll down to the next page. Then I'll come back to the pig item. This is the call for questions we mentioned on August 12. Okay, we've already covered this in the previous meeting. Go to next. Okay, the next few pages is the output from previous surveys. What we'll be looking at, this is some of the samples that we, we may produce, which is a graphic representation of the output from all the uh, surveys. Okay, go to the next page. There's the both. So the questions, as you can tell, the top of the uh, the rectangle, the, the, it's just the, the question involved, involved, how many responses, an average score. That's real straightforward. These are just uh, pie charts. We go to the next one. Rising board members, parliamentary procedure. The next one, quality and accuracy of minutes. So these are all standard questions. Um, the, the standard for the survey is to actually check our pulse, see how we're doing, what can we do different, and how can we improve the system and our services to the to the boards and the boards to support the, the uh, communities, because all the boards are the conduit communication between the government officials and the people and the people and the government. This next one is just how long is it? There's another type of uh, graphic representation. Okay, next one. Pie charts. Okay, enough guidance. Okay, go ahead. More training work, workshop. It's really interesting how they split it. They're pretty evenly split here. Go ahead. Good board members. Train, so training is always an issue. That's a good good range there. Okay, now this one here, I do not have, and I'm, I'm not going to share all of the questions that we received. We have over 30 questions of questions, but I have here is just a sampling of what we would see. Uh, this is just some statements and questions. Um, I've removed the name of the person. I'm going to whitewash this. We do have it was this one came out September 16, listing of questions, survey, etc. What we've noticed from uh, move down, please. Next screen. Okay, what we've noticed in the questions, some of them, the questions or statements that provide pointers and processes, uh, pointers and process for the expect of a survey. Some of them provide expected outcomes. Some questions or statements or suggestions of irregularities in any of the systems we've already mentioned. Uh, some provide questions that require answers. Some provide statements for responses, and some of them are rhetorical questions. Ask some of the ones that you see here. But I'm not going to deal with any of these at this time. If you go to the next page. Again, this is what, okay, this, this was been whitewashed again, removing personal information of the sender, and just uh, scroll through. And then there's an example there, do you think neighborhood boards, et cetera? Item two, do you think NAs, et cetera? Item three, should neighborhood boards? So they're asking questions, but they're kind of rhetorical. And so, and then that's how it is in the rest of these, these statements here. Let's go back up to my statement on the pig, please. Don't. Yes, please. Okay. Okay, what's on the table now? The recommendation is a survey committee to form a PIG, permitted interaction group, to do the following. First of all, I noticed there's a lot of personal information in some of the emails. These are all we asked for emails. I didn't give. I didn't. I didn't output a form for people to fill in. It's just a straight email. So naturally, it has their personal information on there. We need to whitewash the questions and statements of any personal information. We want to read the entries and decide if we're going to remove redundancies are used as is. Decide on the, which electronic tool we're going to provide to the boards for final questions, review and response. In other words, SurveyMonkey, MailChimp, Google Survey, SurveyMaker, or others. And then item four, decide what will be the optimal output to provide to the commission and to the public of the results of the survey. 
Number five, to sign a final schedule to proceed, complete, and release. So this meeting here, I'm sure we want to move with a pig. Um, Dylan, how best do you want to do that? Um, I actually had a question about the meeting for the day. I need people to spend physical time outside of the, with this. I'm looking at doing in the meeting in the month two pig meetings. Understood. Yeah, um, and then a survey meeting. I do understand the pig and how it might be beneficial here, uh, but you do have a small group as your committee members. Uh, we are missing a few tonight, but as long as I think uh, you redact that personal information like you should tonight. Then I don't see what the problem would be if you had printed them out. Maybe we can help you with that. And then everyone can sift through them at the meeting here together as well. I don't want to disclose information. I'll go to the executive session. I don't want to do that. What information are we disclosing? I can't, like, I can't speak about that. that. I can't speak about that at this time. Okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, the permitted interaction group would allow you to meet outside of the Sunshine Law meeting. Yeah, because it's reason for that. I don't want to take up the NCO time on things that we could work internally. Gotcha. And it's it's just a lot. It's 33 pages of information. Okay. So we want to bring the heads together, develop a pig, split the pages, to go through like we talked about. But we're going to develop in our first pig meeting. We'll develop guidelines on how we're going to go through the information and extract from the questions. We don't want to minimize anything that anybody might say. But there may be also redundancies. So we want to extract the pertinent information as content yeah. and place that as a survey question. Okay. And remember, we have to go through already, we already have a number of questions to input. I guess my concern is that we're currently in a committee with uh, you have your commission. Now you're in your committee, which is a smaller portion of your commission. Right. And then you want to make a smaller group. Right. And they're going to be discussing, and then when they come back to this committee, the rest of the committee members are just supposed to understand what they're talking about. To that, no, we'll, we'll do the commission pick, we'll do the heavy lifting, and then present to the survey committee the results. Yeah, at sure. that time, then address questions, concerns, etc. That way, I'm not asking everybody. Everybody may not have the time to do the heavy lifting. And I'm trying to get this cleared up um, in coordination with information. We can write content to the planning committee and wrap this up before the holidays. I want to wrap. Okay. Well, what we definitely want is a quorum tonight to, I would say, form this. That would be the best practice. Um, when you don't have a quorum at a board, you couldn't create a pig. Um, so I'm not sure how anyone went about that tonight. Um, I think this is laid out, and I don't know how many committee members have seen this itself, but it basically lays out what you want to do. And then one concern is that um, I know all the direction and all the comments you said you received like 110 questions. That was all some of the review. Um, I don't know if the other committee members have seen. Some have seen. Okay. And I think that's at the end of the day. You just want the committees all be on the same page, you see the same information. And work together. So I'm not sure about the intention of the permitted interaction group based on that statement. Um, but to answer your initial question, how do I want to go about the permitted interaction group? I don't know that we can establish that. Yes, uh, can we give a read ahead to the other commissioners for the committee and have them do an email vote? And then you record you record the email vote because it goes to you. Oh, I mean, for Tabby, there's no proxy voting. I don't think that that would involve assumption law. I mean, you couldn't survey your board members outside of the. Well, there's only five people, right? There's only five committee members. Yes, and one of them supposedly is Richard, who's the non-voting member. Yeah, the one thing I have tonight is I didn't come prepared to see that Larry, you were on the committee, and I could be mistaken. So my apologies for that. Um, but regardless, we have two of you plus Richard, who is a non voting member. So two doesn't make four. Should we increase the people on the survey committee? I don't, I don't want to get stuck like this. We're, we're facing the holidays. Yes. It's an interesting situation. I don't know if Dylan is available online, but when we talk about committees in general, our understanding, our input is that we would have less than quorum from your commission. 
be part of a committee. Because then if five of you were all in the committee or all in the commission, and five is your quorum for the full commission, couldn't everything you guys agreed on tonight automatically pass at the full commission meeting? Mm -hmm. And that does make sense see. of the intention. Hey. Yeah, Dylan. Uh, Dylan, I see your hand. Go ahead. Oh, no, I mean, I, I agree with um, Dylan Buck there on what he just said about um, committees being less than a quorum of the full board or commission. But I was just going to ask really quickly um, if this document that you have prepared here, is this public record or is it anywhere? What, well, what's been screen shared? I, what I provided, some of the personal information is, re, is removed. So that's why you have it. <laughs> um, the only I do have information that was removed was the sender, correct? Steven? Yes. Yes. I mean, but is this, did you email this document to us or anything? To Dylan. Oh, or yes, I did today. Yes, I did. Okay. It is, it is, it is able to be uh, public record. The rest of the documents have not been gone. Yes. And some of them are of a sensitive nature. That I don't think I'll present in a public forum. I I guess maybe I might just question that, um, you know, because if these are things that are being used by the commission to make determinations on how the end result is going to be in terms of a vote, then I don't think that that's the type of stuff that can be privy or privileged to not being public record. Yeah, I don't, Dylan, do you mean that the 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 um, originator of the suggestions or the recommendations for questions, um, they don't need to be private. Is my understanding? Don't they have to be disclosed in terms of who's I mean, who, who proposed I, I think, the question? I think if Commissioner Melendrez wants to redact things, that's one thing. But um, but the documents themselves, if those are what are being used as something to be considered by commission members on whether or not they will adopt those things, then those need to be a public record. That's a sunshine law requirement. That's that's fine. There will be at the final result. There will be a public record, the final result. That's correct. Well, I mean, it, yeah, but yeah. I mean, it, it can't be like the day of the meeting or something. In fact, right now, currently, uh, sunshine law states that the document that you even have up on the screen should have been made available 48 hours before this meeting. That's fine. And that goes for all documents that are being considered by the body at hand. And, yes. And that's okay. We use the Google Drive for. Um, so I can totally fine. put this one on the drive. Um, that's fine. This meeting. Yeah. Why don't we do that? And it can be um, included in the minutes as well. And also so Commissioner Lander has provided this updated. Thank you. So what we'll do then is that if we're unable without forum, if a pig requires forum, then we don't have forum. So we can't vote on this tonight. It is our intent. And I will email you the meeting schedule I have. I have it tentatively of 10 7, 10 21 for both for, for pigs. Ten seven and ten twenty one are pigs. And then commission meeting is ten twenty eight. So I'd have another pig on eleven four. Survey meeting on 1118. Then you have a commission meeting on 1125. So even so, I don't want to do a lot of heavy lifting over the holidays at all. So before we hit Thanksgiving. So therefore, that's why we're doing it during October. We're sitting here because tomorrow starts October. So I'm looking at two pig meetings, then the commission meeting, and we'll just comment on that. One more pig meeting, and then we'll have the survey meeting. In other words, I'm not intending on doing an actual survey meeting in October. Instead, we'll have two pigs and we'll support the commission meeting. And then we'll have another pig, 11 4, and the next survey meeting will be 11 18, if you can accommodate that. So, but Stephen, when hoping... would you establish the pig? Don't you have to establish that at a, a meeting next... at a forum? Can it be done with commission meeting? If it's on the agenda for the commission meeting, I believe it can be done. When's the next commission meeting? Coming up on 10, 
That's we lose in time. We lose in time. I do have a question, and we can do that, but I don't want to work over the holidays. So, with all of our boards, um, as you know, on our website, we have um, you can submit testimony on mm -hmm. anything you see on the agenda, anything at all on related mm -hmm. to board business, whatever it may be. Uh, when people send that through our office, we email it out to all the board members, and then if we get a bunch of them, we say, "Hey, we can." You can find more in the drive. Please check it out periodically as we're updating it because we don't want to bombard you with 50 emails. And so you said you have a lot of emails. Um, but I think, as Dylan said, that should at least be shared with the um, decision makers of this committee, which should be all of your committee members. It will be. So if that is shared um, via email, let's say tonight, and everything is forwarded, or put in a folder and then shared. Um, that is how this can start to move forward. People will be able to review everything brought forward and then all minds are on the same page. Right? Because right now they haven't seen what you've seen. Okay. Um, Chair O'Sherrill, Richard? Yeah, I had a question, Stephen. How do you want to proceed? This this committee has five members, so you need three for quorum. Yes. That's why I thought that. Uh, Richard, I'm are, are official. So basically what you have is if you need three to to um, have quorum, the uh, pig has to have what two members, is that right? Yes. Yeah, that doesn't yeah. make sense to me. I mean, you might as well just have the survey committee consider all of the questions. When you set up a pig, I mean it's only two people, so who will it be? Yourself and one of the other members, is that it? Yeah, that's a good point. Please, sir, it has to be. No, because yeah. at every meeting you need three people in terms of the uh, survey committee. So um, I don't know how much more efficient you're going to be if you just set up a pig with two people. Well, if we have more people involved, that's fine as long as they do the work. Well, the most you're going to get, I would imagine, is three. Um. Yeah, so he brings up a great point. Um, basically, um, we're breaking it down now. And there's yeah. certain so a pig has to have at least two members, but less than quorum. So if That's you're part three. of this committee, three, you can't have three. Therefore, right. Therefore, you're adding one more person to the pig. And is that more beneficial than just working as this small committee, which has uh, five members, including um, Richard? So. I think what he was saying was if we just share all the information with everybody, we come prepared and everyone does attend the meeting. And that's where the conversation is going to be had and everyone does their homework ahead of time. I think you can move forward with some of these items. Um, uh, decide number three, decide on the electronic tool. That's basically a question. It's saying which one are you guys familiar with? Which one do you think would work best? So that one can be handled, no brainer. Um, the whitewash, yeah, you want number two is very similar, you know. Basically, everyone would have had read everything and come prepared and said, is there anything that we may not want to go public that we think might be inappropriate or should be redacted? Obviously, names, that's one thing. You know, people might want to be anonymous or provide testimony. Yes. Just like with our website. That's, an option. that's right. Um, so what I'm saying is maybe the pig isn't the best direction you want to take because you already have a smaller portion of your commission working together on this. So to break it up even smaller, I'm not sure if that serves the purpose you're going for. The benefit, good news of tonight is that this has been prepared, this has been shared, and then we can pass this on to all the committee members as well. And this document we put together will be put in a Google Drive and referenced in the minutes and public can already access this drive already. So if they're listening tonight or oh. about it tomorrow, they can go there and see this. With the next commission meeting, it's late in October. Yes. We can still proceed. We're just going to lose time. Well, what you can do after tonight is share all the information you've compiled with all of your committee members. So by the next commission meeting, um, and yeah, whether it's the full commission meeting, which I don't know if that's the best place to talk about this business because you have a committee, mm -hmm. we could call a meeting the week before the commission meeting. It could be the 21st of October. It could be the week right after the commission meeting. When does the neighbor planning committee? I believe they're scheduled for the 21st. 
If we need to so we could double them. up on their night if you wanted to, but the last one would have had a problem. So yeah, I don't know. Yeah, we'll if, if we have to have the stock schedule, because you're making a good point. 14. Stephen, can't you call a survey committee meeting before the uh yeah, let's do that. The NCO exactly. meeting. I mean, you don't need to have the NCO meeting to call a meeting. I don't believe. So, if you wanted to schedule a meeting in early October, mid October, I believe you can, as long as you provide the seven day notice. Let's do it the fourteenth. Can you do that, Dylan? I believe I can. Okay, okay we're going to do the next survey meeting then, everyone, on October fourteenth. At that time, Dylan. I want to talk about the pig and I'll talk about Commissioner uh, Larry formally since I thought he was in the beginning. Yeah, after Maybe. tonight, I will go through all the records of every commission meeting to make sure that we have the accurate stuff on it. Documents. Yeah, go back to August last year. And has it been though? 2023? He's been supporting us a long time. Yeah. This this all this this survey thing started in August yeah, was of 2023, that. and I was there at the very beginning. Mm -hmm. And then we decided that that Charmaine and I were going to be. Uh, you mixing that up with the neighbor plan? No, we're not. No, plan was later. Plan, survey. plan was later. Yeah. And then it was decided Charmaine was not going to be on the survey committee. Okay, so the decision very much like the neighbor plan committee. It's not. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got to go through all the records yeah. because like the, guys the, the plan was later. Yeah. Okay, so what we'll do, Chair Shiro, we'll proceed and have the next survey committee meeting on October 1 4. There, we're going to address the items that we've already talked about today. So, we've got a, a better public record. I'll talk about the pig, talk about uh, formerly Commissioner Larry on the survey committee, if it's not, if he's not, and yeah. then proceed accordingly. You, and we, we cannot uh, appoint Larry until the NCO meeting on the 28th, I believe. Okay. If, yeah, if I'm mistaken, check the record. Commissioner Hurray is not currently appointed to this committee, then that is correct. It would wait. He until... was appointed to the neighborhood plan committee. Both. Yeah, I point, we appointed him the first day he showed I just up. didn't make the last two survey because okay. I had conflicts. Gotcha. Yeah, sure. I got the documents in there. I'll figure that out. Tonight, though, we don't have a form, so it's not an issue. Yeah, it's, that's not, right. it's no big. Uh, Chair O'Shea, Dylan will verify with, his, with the records. That's fine. Okay, so then we'll proceed accordingly. So the next survey meeting is on October 1 4. Six p.m.? Yes, please. Let's see. Um, yes, uh, Commissioner, go ahead. So, so we, we we have a uh, read ahead on the quiz, questions before that meeting. Yes. Okay. Amen. So, if you yeah, just want that to all that documentation that, you got, uh, that, if you don't have all the committee members, uh, in the emails, pass it on to them. And then this one, for sure, we can spread to the committee and on the Google Drive. Sure. And that should cut down the time for the meeting because everybody will be able to form their questions and say, yeah, we have two in here. It's got to be thrown out because of derogatory. Gotcha. We That's what I'm thinking. Two weeks from tonight. But if we if we go into the sensitive, I'm going to the executive sessions. Okay. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that public. The, the resultants, the resultants though, will be public knowledge. But what we do discussion wise may have to modify the question to remove any sensitive nature from within the from up without. It's whitewashing. Another form of whitewashing. Yeah, or you may decide, or you may decide in executive session it's not ethical, so don't use it, and that's fine too. The only concern is that we follow sunshine law. The purpose that's of sunshine law fine. is to be upfront and transparent before decisions are made. So when you're saying it'll go when it's final, I don't know. No, we'll do it that. that day. We're not going to do it, it can't be that day. It we're not going to do it at end. least forty-eight hours in advance. It has to be public. But we can't do that because we're doing it at the same day. Was Kevin intended? Ah, I don't want to ask rhetorical questions. Um, okay, let's, let's keep it simple. October 14th, yep. we're going to have the survey meeting. We're going to redo this. We're going to and be discussing this. I'm going to have 30 pages of questions ready Perfect. to discuss. If some of them may have a sense of nature, 
it gets argumentative, I'm going to say executive session. And that's fine. That's sunshine law. Yeah, but there's there's rules to call executive sessions. And I got I don't have the book in front of me, but there's a few. We do can't just call it for any reason. No, we I know. Double check. No, I do this all the time with other meetings too. Other agencies that are under sunshine law. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So we're fine. We'll we'll follow that. I absolutely follow that. Um, Chair Sharon, do you have any questions? No, I'm fine for now. Hey, like I said, uh, the only question I have overall is, do you really need to set up a pig? Because the difference between a survey committee meeting and a pig meeting for this group is maybe one person. So I don't know if it's all that practical to have to set up a pig rather than just do do re the review of the questions uh, with the whole survey committee, which may just be three people. Look at the committee tonight. Two of the members aren't here. Okay, Richard, the yeah. 14th, the 14th, if every survey committee member commits to do heavy lifting, then I will, I'll put an abeyance of pig. But some of them don't even show up for months. I'm not gonna go there. I want this done. Like you said before, we don't want it to be a never ending story. And we're close. We're close, we have a, we have a, acceptable protocol and procedure to proceed. There's no reason why we shouldn't. And then the information we get back, we'll just proceed to the uh, planning committee for consideration. I, I think oh, the God. sooner you can get the questions out for people to review, the committee members to review, then, you know, hopefully we'll have a head start before the meeting on the, um, the 14th. Okay, so let me ask you a question, Dylan. Should I be introducing that in the meeting or just send them out? You can email just like how we get public testimony. Basically, you get a call out for all board members to send the committee, not just yourself, but to send this committee their suggestions for the survey committee that this committee is working on. So there's nothing wrong with you emailing, forwarding all of those emails to all of your committee members. If you want to somehow download those and put those into one folder and send them out as one email, that's what I think is really what's asking so that they can come I don't here want to the next meeting. As public knowledge here, I don't want them in Google Drive. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not saying that. The reason for that is that some of them may be a sense of nature that we may have to whitewash. Yeah, and a lot of times you would redact a name so that it's anonymous. No, it might be more than that. I don't, yeah, I don't know what they're writing in there, um, but whoever submits something to writing like that. Well, I, that's why I was concerned because I do know well, there are there, a few people back there that 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 may forget this is supposed to be professional. Okay. And their it's conduct is being viewed, oh, but, but their people will say it just the way it is. Gotcha. And I don't want that. I don't want anybody oh, to be in any way. Not necessarily. Yeah. That, that's just right. But we can agree that all committee members should receive the same information. That's right. Yeah, that's all we're saying. If the committee members come prepared. So if you can send that out sometime this week, and they have at least a week to review that's fine. and do their own pinpointing. So then that's how your next committee meeting will go. We can do this. Okay, any questions from anybody in the room? Uh, Dylan, do you have your hand up? Yeah, I guess right now at this point, what what is the, I guess, what is the difference or what is the pig attempting to accomplish as opposed to just having like the regular committee meetings? Move the project along. Well, I guess what I'm getting at right now is, you know, a lot of this information we're not, receiving until you know the day of the meeting or whatever and there's a lot of correspondence maybe going to you and then maybe not reaching other committee members and stuff so it seems like there's a bit of a i don't know maybe like only people are reaching out to you right now anyway so a lot of this stuff isn't really public anyway so i don't really know what the difference is between forming a pig or kind of what you're doing right now where you're only getting things and no one else is seeing it i just did thank you um, so we'll proceed then, Dylan, on the 14th, right? Yes. Okay. I'll confirm the first day tomorrow. And I'll try to have the okay. questions to everyone on the committee out uh, one week prior. And I won't have the items in the Google Drive. Yeah, you don't have to put the testimony in the no. Google Drive. What we're going to do is put this in the Google Drive. That's fine. Because that's what we'll be with. That's exactly. The and then I think everyone was in agreement that if all committee members show up and pull their fair share and said, um, you'd be fine with removing the call for a permitted interaction group. 
It would just be the committee doing their work. They have to be in agreement. If people are contentious, they have to be in agreement. Oh, no, but if they receive all the information that you've received and they review it ahead of the next meeting and they come to that next meeting prepared to discuss, I don't see the purpose of the permitted interaction group because everyone's having that. We'll see what they have to say. Okay. Yeah, I'm fine either way. We need to get it done now. Okay, great. Anything else from the floor? Anything else from the from online? Okay, okay, we're good. Then we're gonna the decision is we're gonna meet here October 14, 6 p.m. and we're gonna adjourn this meeting at 6:37. Thank you. Thank you. Second reception.